Unlike simple alkenes and non-aromatic molecules, benzene, which is an aromatic compound, does not undergo halogenation reactions in the same way that simple alkenes do. So basically, if we want our benzene to actually undergo a bromination or chlorination reaction in which one of the H atoms is substituted with a chlorine or a bromine while keeping the aromatic benzene ring intact, we have to use a catalyst. What the catalyst does is it basically gives us a completely new pathway, reaction pathway with a lower activation energy. So basically if we take our benzene molecule and mix it with some type of diatomic halogen, for example the bromine shown, no reaction actually takes place. And the reason is the activation energy is simply too high. So basically this sigma bond between the two bromide atoms is simply too strong and that means this molecule is a very bad Lewis acid. So if this is a bad Lewis acid and our Lewis base reacts with our bad Lewis acid, no reaction actually takes place or at least the reaction does not take place at a reasonable rate. So basically what we have to do is use a catalyst to first transform this bad electrophile, this poor Lewis acid into a good electrophile, into a strong Lewis acid. So let's take a look at the reaction mechanism for the, uh, the chlorination of benzene. So basically, we first take our chlorine molecule shown here and we mix it with our catalyst, our ferric chloride. So ferric chloride, what it basically does is it binds to our chlorine molecule as shown in the following step. And this complex now contains two things. Firstly, it contains this positive charge on this chloride and a negative charge on this atom here. And that creates a destabilized complex. So now we go from a bad Lewis acid to a good Lewis acid that also has a very good leaving group. So now we have a complex ion that is a good Lewis acid, so it's a good electrophile. It also contains a good enough leaving group for our benzene to actually now act as the nucleophile, as the Lewis base, to react with our good Lewis acid. So one of the pi bonds basically forms a sigma bond between the carbon here and our chloride atom, displacing this good leaving group, forming this ion as well as this resonance stabilized structure. So when the benzene Lewis base reacts with the chloride complex here, the good Lewis acid, aromaticity is momentarily lost, but we have resonance stabilization. And in the third step of the chlorination of benzene, we basically have this molecule, which contains this extra additional chloride, reacts with this H atom attached to this carbon, taking that away, and these two electrons basically form a pi bond between these two carbon atoms. And that reforms our aromaticity. So in the final step, chlorobenzene is formed and the aromatic system is once again reformed. So we basically form what we wanted to form in the first place for our benzene to actually react with a diatomic halogen for us to actually undergo an electrophilic substitution in which one of the H atoms is replaced with a halogen, we have to actually use a catalyst because what the catalyst actually does is it gives us a completely new pathway in which we have a lower 
activation energy because now we have a weak bond. So notice in this case, the bond between the chlorine and chlorine, these two atoms, this bond is relatively strong, but this bond is weaker than this bond because we have the positive and negative charge. This weakens the bond because it weakens the electro density. It deforms the electro density. And so now this can act as a good Lewis acid. And so it reacts with our Lewis base. And this good leaving group is basically kicked off. It is detached. And this is the halogenation reaction of benzene. And notice, bromination takes place in a very similar fashion.